How you guys look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 play review and in this video guys I'm reviewing the 85 rated storyline seasons objective card Yamaguchi from Vissel Kobe in the J1 league. I did pick the Japan player because of course I'm a fan of Japan, I love Japanese football and stuff like that and uh, that's basically why I did take him. And in the three games I did play with him, he scored me one goal and got me two assists and he also does have a three star big force as well as three star skill moves. Moving along with him stats, his main standard stats will be his 90 short passing, his 90 balance as well as his 94 agility and Finally, his 88 stand tackle, and it did also have the engine chemistry that applied to this Yamaguchi card. Now, of course, you can also take two other players for like the first selection of cards to take in this particular batch of seasons, objectives, progress. It's obviously going to be the card to the ends we can choose between a Kovic, uh, a centre back from Dortmund, and someone else, and then of course. For like getting to level 10 or 12 or whatever it is, I can't remember. Uh, you got the choice between Yamaguchi, Kalu from Bordeaux, and El Shirari from, I think he plays in the CSL now. Uh, now, Yamaguchi on paper probably does look maybe the worst of all three of them. Um, in terms that he's not that exciting, he's not that easy to link into a team, but, you know... I wanted to take him because he fits into my Japan team, which is obviously amazing. And it's, and it's making Japan actually a decent nation this year, too. So I'm still trying to grind towards the prime icon, Nakata. I need to try and do the SBC for Nakajima, the league SBC for the uh, Liga NOS. And also, I'm starting to try and work my way to grind and go for the milestone to get the centre back from Toulouse, um, Sochi, or something like his name. I, I can't remember. So, Japan actually this year is a pretty awesome nation uh, compared to previous years anyway. And uh, and in terms of how this card was used, I thought he was decent. You know, I, I thought he played pretty well for the most part. Um, I think, you know, for a free card, he, he does the business. Obviously, you know, if you don't want to fit him into a Japanese team, you can fit him in with teams like, you know, where the flashback in the Esther cards, you get a strong link to him there. You can link him in with um, the end of an era SBC, um, David Veer as well. So you can get like a few decent links into him, which obviously is pretty decent as well. But for me, his first pro is going to be his passing two assists in the free games from sentiment position is fantastic was very happy with that he's got uh, 80 vision which goes up to 85 with the engine cam so his short passing goes from 90 to 95 and his long passing goes from 80 up to 90 it was very very happy with that um and yeah two assists in the three games could not um you know fault with that whatsoever it was very very uh, impressive his second pros will also be his tackling 89 interceptions 88 stand tackle and 80 slide tackle as well thought he was very good in that area once again i mean he could play as a cdm uh, i don't know what his height is i think he's relatively small five foot eight so maybe that might kind of put you off using him as a as a uh, CDM maybe in that um, because of his lack of height and stuff but um, no he did make quite a few good tackles for me um, you know slide tackling and stand tackles he made both of them thought he was very good I thought he made a couple I think he did make a couple interceptions as well uh, and again it was you know uh, his, his defense area on the whole is another really really good strong point to his card yes I, you know for a midfielder although he got me three goal contributions in three games he is more of a defensive minded type of player certainly when you look like his good strength stats and his defensive stats and stuff and then maybe his lack of it you know good shooting stats and stuff like that but uh, no yeah tackling and passing very happy with this final pro as well will also be his dribbling very very good dribbling he's got 94 agility and 90 balance with the engine chem style both of those stats go to 99 which is insane his dribbling goes from 74 to 84 his reactions go into the high 80s uh, as does his ball control his, um, his composure remains at 84 which is fine as well it was probably maybe the like that alongside passing were definitely like, the best parts to this guy's you know game essentially I, I was very very happy with that he does feel very good and smooth on the ball almost he feels like a cam essentially like a you know um like a who's a cam that i've used recently oh I icona yesterday well not yesterday earlier on today i'd say icona's dribbling probably for actually a bit better than yamaguchi um but Yamaguchi's dribbling is still fantastic, you know, especially for the position that he plays in and stuff like that as well. It was very good. So on the whole, I think it's a good card to go for. I think out of the three, um, I don't know who looks the best. I think El Shirari's card does look amazing. And I understand, you know, I, I can understand people wanting to go for, uh, well, for the El Shirari card because he's Italian. He's a throwback to his days at, uh, at AC Milan. Um, I think that was the team that he used to play for. You know, Kalu, it, I'm pretty certain it's not the Kalu that used to play for Chelsea. Um, but even so, his car looks very good from the French League. Having said that, you can go and get there was um, a Gelson Martins. You could have got like a couple months ago as well from a previous one as a right mid, who is a better card than Kalu. Uh, so he's not like it doesn't make Kalu the best card for the right mid in Ligue 1. He you know it doesn't become that. Yamaguchi becomes one of the best centre mids, uh, certainly from Japan. You know you can link him in with their uh, prime icon the cat. You can link him in with an Iesta flashback. And Dominero David Vitor. So he actually fit him into quite a few decent teams. And he was a good card. You know, for a free card, I couldn't fault him. I liked him. And I'm very happy to have him in my Japanese team. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys later.